I'm Amy Rose Forbes Erickson and I'm an assistant professor of Pan-African Studies and I teach theater. I'm also the founder and the artistic director for the Pan-African Theater Ensemble. And we basically just started the Pan-African Theater Ensemble in the fall of 2016, just when I started this position at Kent State University. And I decided that when I started this position, I wanted to see uh, Pan-African theater, a development of Pan-African theater broadly uh, for the research of black theater worldwide, African-American theater, Caribbean theater, Latin American, and also uh, any kind of theater coming out of Europe, as in black British. We want to sort of establish a, a canon of Pan-African theater. I think it's so important for uh, the Kent State community and the community on a whole to know uh, the wide cross-section of black theater uh, globally. And uh, so we want to start like a, a research unit here in the Department of Pan-African Studies. And one of the ways that I thought would be good to do that is to uh, direct and produce plays from across the Pan-African world. So we're actually in our first season of the Pan-African Theatre Ensemble. We started off with uh, an African play, with actually two African plays, one by Holy Suyenka, the Bakai of Euripides. He wrote the Bakai of Euripides from, in, from 1957. And we decided to uh, start off our season with the first play written by an African playwright, the first person to win the Nobel uh, Prize for, for uh, Literature. And we wanted to have uh, a grand opening, so we started off with Wole Suyinka's play. Our second play was uh, Tahinta, a rhythm play for children by Efua Sutherland. And for those people who would know, Efua Sutherland is actually the matriarch, so to speak, of Pan-African theater. She actually started the Pan-African Historical Theatre Project uh, uh, as a festival in Ghana uh, every two years. So for our first season, we knew that we had to do a, a Fua Sutherland's uh, play. And then the last play in our season is uh, African-American Venus by Susan Laurie Parks. And again, with this particular play, that's, that's, that's going to be open on uh, March 16 and run, run right through to March, March 19, is of a Pan-African nature because uh, Venus is about the story of Sarah Bartman who was kidnapped from the Khoisan people in South East Africa and uh, taken on uh, a tour in the the circus freak shows of the 19th century at the time. And so it covers so many themes affecting, uh, so many Pan-African issues and themes affecting uh, black women in particular and about black women's bodies. And so we thought it would be fitting to sort of end with, end our season with Venus by Susan Laurie Parks. And of course, as part of this production we're doing a talk back and we hope to have some productive discussion after our Saturday's show. For our second season we're in the process now of selecting plays but we plan on doing a, a sort of a new black forum, a new black plays forum uh, at the end of the year. As a, We want to create like a hub or some kind of a, a community of uh, black artists, black playwrights, um, uh, directors, uh, anybody working in black theater, we want to create a sort of hub in the African community theater. We want for people to come here to produce their work and to be a part of uh, a pan-African artistic community. Oh, and look as long as you like, waiting for your gaze here, there are all the freaks alive. The, the African Community Theatre was actually established in 1970. We have uh, a, a good sized stage, it's it about 24 by 15 feet, but we have lots of equipment. We have computerized 
uh, lighting equipment and we have a, a good size backstage for costume and for, uh, for costume construction and also for set constructions as um, the African Community Theatre is really open to the wider community so anyone wanting to use this space uh, there's a very 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 minimal uh, rental fee to, to come in and to use the space and we encourage people from the community uh, at any time of the year except I believe except the summer to, to come in and to book the space and so on so it's really open it's an open space for the community, Kent State University as well as the wider community. So we have a wonderful, a wonderful group of uh, cast members and, and not just for Venus but right throughout our first season we really uh, sort of honed a lot of a fresh new talent coming out of the Pan-African Theatre Ensemble but for this particular season of uh, this particular play for Venus we have students from the theatre department from the School of Theatre and Dance we have students from our Pan-African Studies department uh, as well as even engineering and, and nursing and a wide cross-section of students uh, at the Kent State University um, or students just really love theater and I actually love my my cast so much because they pour out a lot of energy uh, they come together they're all volunteers primarily um, and so they're doing this out of their own time and out of their commitment and desire uh, to learn more about Pan-African theater but also to contribute and to participate in, in uh, Pan-African culture uh, they all sort of get together so well during rehearsal and after rehearsal. For us, we often have our, our own time where we, we come together around food and, and community uh, after rehearsals, particularly on weekends, and we just try to kind of bond our relationship as we, we really grapple with some sometimes very difficult issues around uh, Pan-African uh, Pan-African studies globally and particularly for this play we've had moments where our cast members were so affected by the story uh, emotionally connecting to, to the roles and so I think it's going to be a great show I just want for everyone to come out and experience what we're doing here and uh, for anybody else who would want to participate I would, I would strongly encourage you to call our department and uh, ask about the the company and to participate in any which any way that they can. Uh, probably Tuesday when you get back from this. Uh, well, I, I think it'd be.